Welcome to the 2020 Casting Contest Awards. The benefits of the participating in the contest are many. First, it is free publicity to your company, not only in InCast, but in several other industry publications. Your customers read these publications and they see that you are showcased there, which is very valuable. Each winner receives a personalized plaque and a poster of their entry, which can be used for marketing and promotional purposes, and the award listing on our website and in the social media. There is also a write-up in the InCast magazine where many customers will read about your award. As you can see, there are no losers in this contest. Free publicity is available to all who participate. Now let's look at the criteria for the entries. First, it does not have to be the most complex part or the largest part the ICI is looking for parts that demonstrate the best use of investment casting process and or solve customers' problems. Some questions you can ask yourself when determining which part you will enter are, does it replace an assembly of several parts? Has it reduced cost? Has it improved the product reliability or performance? How does the customer benefit from the part and will it make it unique? Those are some of the things you should think about when you select your entry. Now to introduce our finalists. In the category of fine art, the winner is Artcast from Ontario, Canada. This is a sculpture of Roy Brown, a World War I flying ace credited with downing the Red Baron, which creates which was created using a 3D scanning and printing process, saving the client weeks to months of work and having the digital file allows it to be created in almost any scale. Congratulations to Eric at Artcast. Right, thank you, Ross. And we'd like to thank the board for selecting us as the Fine Art Casting Contest winner this year. Uh, we've got the whole crew here and um, we wanted to just uh, Say a little bit that we're we're really happy to be a uh, a representative of fine art foundries, uh, especially coming from Canada. But uh, it's nice to know that the, the community within ICI is growing as well. So we hope to uh, see more of everyone next year um, when we're allowed to actually see people in person again. Um, but on that note, I'd just like to uh, say one more thank you from us here at Artcast from, from myself, Marcus, and the crew. So. Thank you, Thank you. Thank you. Next, in the university category, this year we have Pittsburgh State University for their, their entry in the reproduction of a classic Jim Bowie knife. The students demonstrate participation in this project where casting simulation, mold design, CNC machining, wax injection, investment casting, heat treating, additive manufacturing, casting finishing, and finally craftsmanship were involved. Many thanks to the ICI members that helped uh, agree to act as the foundry for this effort, which included American foundry groups in Bixby, Oklahoma, and Signacast in Brown Deer, Wisconsin. Congratulations to Mike Paddock and Russ Rosemate at PSU. So uh, hi, I'm uh, Russ Rosemate from Pittsburgh State University, not to be confused with uh, Russ Gallagher, who, who's giving the award. And we, we thank you guys for, um, for selecting us for this award. And uh, it's quite an interesting project. All investment cast tooling was made here. And uh, we had partners of uh, uh, both Signet Cast and American Foundry Group down in Bixby, Oklahoma, to help us produce the casting during the COVID uh, pandemic. pandemic. Hi, I'm Michael Paddock. Um, I want to accept the award this year. Um, we want to thank our sponsors, Signia Cast and American Foundry. Without them, this wouldn't have been possible. It's really been an exciting project, learning more about the investment casting industry. I've worked at two investment casting foundries, uh, A.W. Bell and O'Fallon Casting, and this project really just solidified my interest in the process even more. Thanks. Here's the knife. <laughs> Next in the military category, we have Baron castings for this structure casting made of SLA patterns and cast in A356 aluminum, eliminating four bolted together in the previous design and at 25% cost. 
The casting is pressure tested and meets the stringent AMS 2175 grade B criteria. Congratulations to Bruce Barron and his team at Barron Industries. Uh, Bruce Barron, Barron Industries here, and uh, we're, we've assembled our, our team of folks from uh, manufacturing, quality, and inspection uh, sales here uh, to acknowledge the uh, recipient of the award from the Investment Casting Institute for the, um, the best uh, aerospace defense casting. And we are very honored to uh, have been chosen for the award. And um, this is the, the, the casting here in its um, cast and its machine condition. And the, uh, the group works very hard to um, create a process to provide a solution to the customer. And the fact that we've been acknowledged by our peers um, uh, is a great honor, makes everybody here feel really good. And uh, we look forward to participating in the uh, virtual conference here. And we thank you again, Joe, and the Investment Casting Institute. Okay? In the aerospace category, the winner is O'Fallon Castings for their pump housing casting. This C355 T6 casting contains many complex internal passages that can only be created by ceramic cores. O'Fallon has the ability to remove these cores in post-cast operations that is unique while creating pressure test worthy grade B casting. This ability allows their customers to design freedom to create complex designs without the need for drilling and plug welding. Congratulations to Jake Rubin and Vince Gimito and their team at O'Fallon Castings. Uh, on behalf of O'Fallon Casting, we would like to thank Russ Gallagher and the ICI team for this recognition. And we at O'Fallon Casting are very grateful for accepting this award. And all of, the, all of us that worked on this project appreciate their perseverance for us to succeed and to receive this award. And uh, all the group here and everyone has uh, constantly been striving to go forward and to take and make us a world-class uh, foundry. And, and, and we always try to do our best. And then when this recognition is, is awarded to us, it uh, gives us a standing in the industry that we are most proud of and we, we, we strive to be successful at. And uh, thank all of you for that. Okay. Well. In the automotive category, this year's winner was Aristocast for the steering wheel casting. This is a one of a kind design was created in CAD in a similar way to the park bench and utilized 3D patterns, printing and A357 T6 aluminum for a casting of the Volkswagen modified 1965 bus project. Congratulations to Paul Leonard and his team at Aristocast. Hello, I'm Paul Leonard from Aristocast, and I'm here to accept the award for the automotive award for, from the ICI for 2020 for the steering wheel that we've done. I'd like to thank the ICI for doing this virtually uh, so that we get it out there. And I also like to thank the company that let us do the steering wheel that remains anonymous at this time. Next in the architectural hardware category, the award goes to Aristocrats for their design and manufacturing this unique structured cast A357 T6 aluminum park bench. The park bench was as much unconventional CAD project as it was casting project casting six parts and later welding them together into the structure that in invites the user to explore and engage more, the twists and the turns and admire the thing that would normally sit on without a second thought. Congratulations to Paul Leonard and his team at Aristocast. Hello, um, this is Paul Leonard again. I'm, I'm here from Aristocast to accept the architectural award for the park bench that we've done. I'd like to thank uh, the ICI for all that they do for, for the investment casting industry and in presenting these awards. Uh, this particular award uh, is accepted in conjunction with Autodesk and a gentleman named Kelvin Hamilton, who's been my main contact there. 
This bench is going to be on display over in London. The people are going to choose the exact location, so that has not been decided. So I hope you all get a chance to, to see this over there. Thank you again for everything you guys have done.